Okay, fellas, I'm going to give a YouTube video of the uh, unboxing of the Steam Link itself. Now, the Steam Link works off of Bluetooth, um, HDMI, and Wi-Fi. It tells you what it includes right here. It includes some plugs and cord adapters and uh, the 225 volt cord adapters and the standard uh, 115s. Um, the Steam Link itself, a phone or a uh, Ethernet cable, an HDMI cable, and of course the transformer that allows it to get power from the wall. All right. <clears throat> so just looking over the case, it just gives you a little idiot update on how to attach it to your computer or your TV. Uh, nothing super special here. So we uh, cut the little seal. Everything has a seal on it. It's a little plastic disc. Um, so I cut the seal or peeled it off and pull the sleeve off. Um, don't know if you could see inside of here, but if you look real closely, there's a uh, little blueprint of the Steam Link. So if you into that kind of stuff, which I sort of am, you can hang it on the wall or whatever. Anyway, opening the box here. Inside of the box, we have the instructions, or the quick start guide and the product guide. It, this just gives you, it's like end user agreement, and this is literally pictorial uh, idiot instructions. Here is the Steam Link. It's uh, fairly heavy, actually. It looks to have three USB inputs. One, two, three, a power input, Ethernet input, and a HDMI input. But uh, it's relatively small. In fact, we can measure it. It's uh, four and three quarters by three and a half. So it's a relatively small device. It's got a cardboard molded uh, insert. Very nice, very well made. All right, and then inside of here, we have the accoutrement box. And here's the box itself. The accoutrement box, the goodies, of course has the adapters, the European and German adapters, which um, these are actually superior to US. See, the plastic uh, goes out very far, so you would, it's, it's very difficult to accidentally touch that while withdrawing or plugging in the plug. Um, that's all other adapters are like that, by the way. Have a nice long stem. Anyway, uh, here's the cables. Here's the power cable, which looks like it's got a decently sized cord. Um, and it's got the, of course, a uh, standard white people adapter here. And let's see, uh, it's got an Ethernet cable, a flat Ethernet cable, so that's kind of nice. And uh, all, all of them are glued in place, so they're not going to slip and slide on you. And it's tacky glue, so it'll pull right out. And of course the uh, HDMI cable, which I'm going to go ahead and assume is probably a pretty high quality one. It doesn't seem like it's, you know, they skimp out on anything. All right. And so that's what's in the box. And the reason I'm giving you a YouTube uh, version is because um, I'm going to plug it in and try it out so I can actually have something to tell you guys. Because just seeing it, it's relatively unimpressive. I mean, it looks nice, and it feels rather heavy, so it must be sh well shielded. But, um, yeah, I don't see... Uh, it doesn't appear to be outwardly super exciting it's just a little box so um, I wanted to be able to plug it in and actually have something to report on so that is the unboxing of the steam link I will explain I will uh, do some unboxing for the controllers later but in case you were impatient I'm going to show you the controller It feels pretty well made. I'm impressed. Uh, there are lots of controls. These are also controls. Um, one, two, three, four. 
this is a thumb pad, so I can actually control my computer from here. Hold on, let me push the button. There we go, it came on. And I can actually control my mouse. Um, let's see, there we go. You see my mouse on the screen up there by 512? That's me controlling it from this little touchpad. Let's get X, Y, A, and B. Uh, a thumb, thumb stick. A uh, quadrant arrow stick. I'm not sure how these work yet. Uh, because I wanted to be able to tell you guys about it, and of course these as well are also buttons. Um, it feels very comfortable to hold. Um, your hands literally fall right where they ought to, um, without any control. They're not too narrow, they actually fit my hand. Um, I can hold it one-handed very comfortably without touching any buttons. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by the controller so far. It does have a USB port, but it also has a little dongle that plugs into your computer, which I will unplug for you. Here it is. That's all. Um, so you can use it wirelessly. Um, in, I'll uh, open the box and I will show you guys some more later, if you are interested.